GmbH, which is a manufacturer of infrared cameras, especially cool cameras, and we have created on the horizon. I'm proud to present you the lift horizon today. Before, before I want to introduce a little bit infratech. So we are doing thermographic solutions. First, I would like to give a short overview of infratech, then our infratech um, thermographic cameras, and then our newest product, which is a world premiere today, to be shown um, on this CCS show. First of all, greeting from our headquarters in Dresden. So this is a thermographic which gives not too much information, except that some parts are just arrived. Um, so this is the building, well insulated, so nothing special. So Infotech stands for, is a standing partner for you. Our mission is to be the specialist in infrared technologies and offering the best solutions and services to our customers. It's not only cameras, but all the environment, um, application, um, support, etc. We want to sell a complete solution. And if you have any special questions, which is not a standard, we are open for this and we will do it. Some facts. Infotech was founded in Dresden in 1991, so this means we have this year 25th anniversary. It's still privately owned, and it will remain privately owned. We have staff of two, about 200 people. We are doing about 26 million euros last year. This year will be more. We have two different business units. One is the sensor division, and one is the infrared temperature measurement division, which includes the cameras I'm re representing today. So Dresden is somewhere in the middle of the world. You can see it here. So we have um, all the same, in all the same direction, same supporting time. The sensor division is mostly focused on sensors, special sensors, integrated sensors, for pyrometry, for fire detection, gas analysis, um, and optical measurements, as well as visible, as also in infrared range. Okay? We have on the own, yes. this is non-infrared image. Um, we are producing and developing these small detectors and package them and send them all over the world. We have big success with this. The other division is the thermographic and measurement temperature division, so I can't see the from here. So we have systems for research and development, non-destructive testing, process and quality control, predictive maintenance. But also we have already turned the solutions for process monitoring, automatic fire detection, surveillance, um, which are already complete systems. It's a turnkey um, uh, solution with all environmental uh, material and PCs interfaces, so you can directly in integrate them into any process and just to need adapt a little bit of software. So this is for either photovoltaic application, but also for pressing of metal sheets. We have a complete system which is controlling everything. Um, of course, we have thermographic training courses. We are offering also the thermographic services. If you have a problem, you cannot afford a camera. We will do the service for you. It's not a problem. And maybe later on you will see you need this camera. We will sell it as well. Um, also, we are doing also our own demographic software, but also customized software. If you have a problem very special, we can create the software for you. So we have a big sort of um, cameras to offer. Not all are manufactured by, us, manufactured by us, only the cool systems, but also we have solutions for uncooled or other cameras, um, which we are offering. So we have a rather good expertise in thermography. So we are doing all the engineering of optics, mechanics, electronics, and the software in-house with different laboratories. Um, we have a well-equipped calibration lab with the climate chamber and various black bodies, which are controlled every year, of course, and they are certified. So we have, as I told you, we have turnkey solutions. For example, the first one as an example. This is for disc breaking, testing, monitoring. This is the same uh, disc from both sides, simultaneously recorded, and then um, put together, and you can Okay, it was not mine. <laughs> I thought I bought an effect, effect in there. I could not control, sorry, I want to repeat. 
So this is, you see that uh, it's very interesting. It's exactly the same timing that the heat will come outside on the one side and inside on the other side. So it's rather impressive to see this. Uh, another application is industrial. So this is a post-welding control. You see on the head of the robots, it's a complete food camera with an integrated illumination, very um, high energy. And then all the um, um, car is checked on the critical um, welding parts. And it's done simultaneously. So this is also a turnkey solution which we develop and are delivering worldwide. So we are building a series of cameras using the cold for midwave, long wave, um, um, infrared range. Uh, we are developing the software. We have always with each camera you get a, a PC that you can guarantee it's well working. All the system is well working and set up. We have various lenses. We have from 200 millimeters or even longer for the special application up to microscopic lenses with a magnification by eight. Um, so our cameras can go several parts, if not all of them, even less than 30 millikelvin thermal sensitivity, can go up to 25 frames per second, 25,000 20, uh, frames per second. The pixel uh, amount or the FPA size at the moment is 1280 by 1024 pixels, infrared pixels, and we can go to town, down, down to 2 micrometer resolution per pixel. I know it's close to the limits of physics, um, but it works. So um, this is up to now. Um, also, we have some special um, features, for example, two filter wheels which can com be combined. So you can either put no filter, of course, gray filters, spectral filters, or an aperture even. You can combine everything. So you can combine either uh, short pass and high pass filter to make a special uh, filter and you can combine them. So we have 25 different um, um, combinations because each of these filters has five filters. So then. Now I'm proud to present the, our newest camera, which will at least one of the features I just listed will um, override it. Now I lift the, whole, the curtain. This is our new camera, Image IR 10300, just one number more, the last. Uh, series of 9,300, and this is having a detector size of 1920 by 1536 native infrared pixels. So it's nothing with software or interface interlacing or whatever. It's real snapshot 1920 by 1536 pixels, which is about 3 million pixels. These pixels working with the 10 micrometer pixel pitch, this means this have, uh, we can use all the lenses we have on our 1280 or 1 megapixel detector and 50 million. Uh, we have exactly the total FPA size like this, so we can use all the lenses and no extra development makes this camera not rather cheap, but affordable. Um, so we can directly start. Uh, we have a complete uh, program of um, lenses available, including the M8 means magnification by 8. Um, Lens. We can go up to 100 hertz frame rate at full frame rate. This means we have 3 million pixels by 100 hertz. It's 300 million pixels by 2 bytes each. It's 600 million bytes per second. We need to transfer. How we do this? We build in into this camera, but also the former model, a 10 gigabit Ethernet connection. Um, it can be easily um, connected to each PC with such a frame grabber card, which will be done by optical fiber. This means this optical fiber can go up to 25 kilometers if you need. Um, by the way, the, the power supply is not as long, so we need to have an intermediate one. But um, optical fiber is also very safe against any EMD distortion from outside. Um, you can even use it on critical areas, and this is a standard optical fiber. If it's breaking. It's a rather cheap one, it's not a very special one. So, what else do we have? There's some samples. It's always, it's not easy to find an example how to show a real resolution because the beamer will not give this resolution, then it's not, of course, not real measurement data, it's an ADI file which also will give some um, differences. So, what 
what we have is we have a large field of view and a small uh, instantaneous field of view. This means you have a big overview of your system, but also you can look on small details very high with a very high resolution. For example, if you have a field of view of 50 by 40 millimeters or 50,000 by 40,000 micrometers, you have an eye incidental field of view of 25, 26 micrometers. So this means even here you can look if you have different critical areas, you can put them, uh, you can detect them all at the same time. Another application is something like surveillance. Uh, okay. So this means you have a, this was on the in our street, you have for surveillance you can have, oh no, sorry. Okay. No. Come on. Okay, anyway, if you saw it moving, it's working. So you can either have, even with our software, you have it like a loop. You can change the sensitivity here or the range. You can see here, um, have a look on the technical, critical things, but also if the movie is working. No. So we have also, uh, like a surveillance, you can also have the details here. So, that was fine. <laughs> okay. But to convince yourself, you can visit on the booth. We have this camera here. We will install it tonight. We'll work tomorrow. And you can see all the details. We really directly bought a four-page screen just to show all the pixels to you. So we can show you each single pixel, if you like. And you can have a test, and we will answer all the questions you have. We are on booth 314, down in the exhibition hall. Again, okay, I don't know. So, the infrared thermography, you can ask us. We are the specialists, you can ask us on the booth, you can ask us on the headquarters, or on our USA office, Plano. These are the, uh, the addresses, internet address. And since yesterday, we have an infrared block. There should be a camera as well, you see the background. Uh, just, you know, you can see it. We have a new block, at block Infratech EU. For the 10,300, you can attend to this. Of course, you cannot enter your experience with this camera, not yet. But contact us, and then you have experience within the next month. Thank you for listening, and give any questions.